respiratory system. We know that all living things breathe the organs that help in breathing our nose, windpipe, and lungs. Together, they form our respiratory system. Respiratory system. Nose, windpipe, lungs, and diaphragm are main organs of our respiratory system. These organs help us to breathe in fresh air and supply oxygen to all parts of the body through the blood. The main function of this system is to take oxygen rich air and give out carbon dioxide rich air. Nose. Nose is the organ through which the air enters our body. There are two openings in our nose called nostrils. Each nostril allows the passage of air into our body. There are small hairs present inside the nose that trap germs and dust present in the air and protect the nasal passage. Windpipe. It is the passage through which the air passes from the nose to the lungs. It is also called trachea. It splits at the bottom into two bronchi. One enters into each lung. From windpipe air enters the bronchi and finally reach the lungs. Lungs. They are a pair of spongy organs located in the chest. The rib cage protects the lungs. The left lung is slightly smaller than right lung. The main function of lungs is to exchange gases in the lungs, oxygen is absorbed and carbon dioxide is released. Diaphragm. The diaphragm is a muscular suppression, which lies just below the lungs. Functions of the parts of the respiratory system. Different parts of respiratory system play different roles. The nose is the path through which the air we breathe in enters our body. It has a sticky liquid called a mucus that traps the dust particles in the air and does not let them enter our lungs. This helps us to stay healthy. The windpipe connects the nose and the lungs. It is the passage through which the inhaled air reaches the lungs and the exhaled air moves out of the lungs. Lungs are the place where the useful and harmful gases are exchanged. Here the useful part of the air is taken into the body, by blood, blood gives out the harmful gases from the lungs. This harmful air moves through the windpipe and gets exhaled through the nose. The diaphragm. The diaphragm moves upward and downward continuously, when it moves down, the lungs become filled with air, when it moves up the air moves out of the lungs. Thank you. A presentation by Nassim D.S.